When you are looking at this building, do you think randomness, chaos, unorganized? Do you think it's easy to design something like this? You just have to draw a bunch of lines here or there and that's it. But when you draw your storm of lines, they never come close to this design? It's because you're wrong. It's not chaotic. It's actually highly organized. Give me two minutes and I will tell you all about it. Let's start from drawing a plan of the stadium's roof. I started from drawing an ellipsis for the outline of the roof. Then I divided it into 16 roughly equal segments, every point being a representation of a column. In the next step, I choose one point at random and then connect this point with the next fifth point and then repeat this process until all points are connected. This is how we get a layout of beams. Note that we get elliptical opening in the middle of the roof, above the pitch, and all beams are straight, so they would be possible to build. Let's go to 3D and draw a main structure of the stadium. I started with drawing the same ellipsis as before, but now in three dimensions. Roof of the stadium has a hyperbolic paraboloid shape, which is better known as Pringles. To construct it, I drew two ellipses, one above another, and equally divided into 16 segments. Then I connected respective points of both ellipses and divide those lines into four segments. Next, I connected appropriate points to get the shape of the edge of the roof to be higher on the longer side and lower on the shorter side. Now I could connect the points like in the previous example to get a pattern of beams. Next step was to draw ellipses for the base of the stadium. Then, as before, I divide it into 16 segments and connect them with lines. Bird's nest elevations are tilted, so I moved points on a base inwards and finally connect them with respective points on the roof to get lines representing columns. I finished this drawing with an outline of the arena. Now let's take a moment to look at individual frames of the main structure. I will draw it over a drawing of the stadium I just made. Let's take one beam and two columns. You can see from this schematic drawing that it is almost a typical section of a steel structure and it could be easily represented by 2D construction drawing. You can see that in this case, complexity comes from arrangement of the simple elements. Now I will try to draw a pattern similar to the original elevation. I started from connecting points from the base with second next point on the roof and do the same thing diagonally. Then I divided every second segment of the roof outline and connect this point with the point on the ground. Next, from the base of each column, I draw four lines upwards, forming two V-shapes. Then I connected midpoint of the base segment with midpoint of the next segment of the roof. Next, I divide base segment in three and connect this point with adjacent top of a column and point in one third of the roof segment. Finally, I draw a series of lines connecting a point on a base with four next point on the roof. Have in mind that my intention here is not to reverse engineer original design, so this pattern is not the same as the one of the original building. But you should get the impression by now that such a chaotic and complex looking pattern can be created by many overlapping, ordered and simple patterns. It is very interesting how designers played with our sense of aesthetics and beauty, pushing borders of order to the edge of chaos. Bird's Nest is a very interesting example of how designers started from the ruled surface and hyperboloid structure 
add many layers of different ideas to create outstanding design.